वेलकम टू क्लास नंबर 86 कंटिन्यूएशन एस आई टोल्ड नव ऑनवर्ड्स कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ रोड्स आई विल सॉल्व सम मे बी सम सेवन एट क्लास आई विल कंटिन्यू दिस वे यू वी एल यू डी एल एंड पॉइंट ऑड इन डिफरेंट प्लेसेस बै दिस टाइम यू नो आल दि कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द टाइप ऑफ द टाइप मीन नाट टाइप ऐक्चुअली हाउ द वेरिएशन विल कम फॉर एस एफ एंड बी एम for point load udl uvl all therefore not much to explain work out all the questions from beginning given and then understand law or everything connected with sap and bmd so first question is here if you want by words you can write down a simply support beam of span 12 meter is loaded by a constant load of 60 kN at 1.5 meter from left end uniformly varying load starting at 3.5 meter from left end where its intensity is 48 kn per meter with reducer to zero linearly after 4 meter and from right side udl of 20 kn per meter for 3 meter okay now first here this is later sigma m about a0 minus vb into 12 plus 60 into 1.5 plus Half into four into forty-eight is the total load acting here. Three point five plus one third of four plus twenty into three is the total load into. See, you can do one thing. Three four two one point five twelve. You can find this gap. That gap will come one point five meter. Then distance will be from here to here will be one point five plus three point five plus four is seven point five. One one point five is nine. So nine. Plus three by two, or you can do one thing from twelve subtract three by two, whatever you want. E equal to zero. You get VB sigma V zero, class number eighty six. So I don't have to explain. You get the value of VA. Okay, now ready for SFD BMD. Start. Fresh page. I enter the values here. See, almost to scale. I mark the point A, B, C, D, etc. Different points. First, we will go for shear force calculation. Actually, or one minute. No. First, you draw the diagram without showing calculation. Go up by 117.333. From here to here, no load. Come parallel to baseline. Come down by 60. You will get 57.333. No load up to here. Then parabolically come half into four into 48. Half into four into 48 is 96. From 57.333, it will cross the baseline. It will come to thirty-eight point six six seven. No load up to here. Then linearly come down by twenty into three sixty. It will come to ninety-eight point six six seven. Back here, this is plus. This is minus. Plus and minus. Okay. Now shear force diagram will cross the baseline somewhere here. Therefore, you have to locate that point. See, while setting the question, I deliberately set the question so that. That point where S F will be zero is somewhere in the U V L to learn more. If it is in the U D L portion, you are very happy because by linear variation. If it is under a point load anywhere, then there is no location of point. So work is more relatively if the point comes somewhere in the U V L. Okay, now now onwards some questions I will see that it comes within the U V L. Sometimes I will see that it comes outside. So every time it will not come within the U V L. Now, shear force calculation. You should show the calculation today. See, I will, I will show the calculation. See, first, these values actually I noted down. Not required for you. Okay, now. See, what I am, how I am dictating now? You listen correctly and show the calculation. That is, those who are serious. I'll write here. Okay, this space I want shear force calculation. Calculation. Left up, right down, positive. See what I'm telling. Shear force at A plus 117.333 over. Shear force at C just to left plus 117.333 just to right. Plus 117.333 minus 60, you will get 57.333. Shear force at D, 
previous value 57.333 that's all shear post at e 57.33 minus half into 4 into 48 you will get minus 38.667 shear post at f same answer no change then shear post just to left here is 38.667 minus 20 into 3 will come minus 98.667 this i have shown the calculation many many times so now onwards most of the question shear post calculation i am not writing those who are sincere and hard working i will dictate in the class referring to the class make a note okay now show yourself you show the calculation you show calculation okay then then some statement you are right Variation of shear post. That also you are right. A to C, constant. C to D, constant. E to F, constant. F to B, linear. D to E, parabola. Y parabola this way. Here more slope. Maximum slope. Here zero slope. This all already you know it. Okay. Write that one. Observe shear post diagram. Yes. Shear post diagram crosses baseline at or between D and D where shear post is zero. So that point required, so that I will show the calculation here. So this I will skip now. So I will write that one. Next, location of point between which points D and E. D and E where shear force equal to zero. Okay. Now do one thing. Today I will not put separate sketch, I will enter it here only, just for a change. So what I will do is, let, now let shear pose be 0 at a point x, comma, at x from, at a point x where, between which points, d and e, between d and e, at x from, be very careful, if you take x from here and look this side, trapezium is going to come. So, look that side. So, this point, we are calling it as x today. See, x. That is the point here, project, uh, this is your x or light line project here. See, here. Light line. This is the point x. Distance, you can see here only. Now, at this point, we want the intensity. That is W suffix X you require. Okay, start. Let W suffix X, if you want to understand better, you can draw one more diagram. X B intensity of UVL at X. See here. I am taking X from here. Therefore, W suffix X equal to 48 by 4 into x. 48 by 4 into x or will be equal to 12 times x kilonewton per meter. Enter here. Equal to, I got, just now we got 12 x we got. Okay, now. Now, to get the value of x or to locate that point x, equate shear pose at x to 0. Look right side. When you could right side, you don't have to worry too much because shear pose you require here. Look this side. You already know shear pose here. How much? It is minus. So shear pose at x equal to. See, those who are can write. Look right side. Right up is negative. Minus 98.667 plus 20 into 3. Then plus half into x into 12x or you need not write once again 98.667 and this one because you already know shear post at this point is minus 38.667 667 plus how much right up right down is positive plus half into x into 12x equal to 0. Okay. Do one thing. Those who find confusion, do one thing. You don't write this way. You write minus 98.667 plus 
20 into 3, that is this number only. Then write plus half into x into 12x. Write that way. Solving, you get the value of x. I already got the value of x. So therefore, to save the time, 2.539 meter. Now, immediately, substituting that value of x, x, we get intensity w at x equal to, where is it? 12 into x, 12 into 2.539. Or it will come, I already calculated, 30.468 kilonewton per meter. Kilonewton per meter. Now, one statement. Go back and enter everything. Again, those who find confusion, you write this much sketch separately there and do it. Okay. So, now we got this answer. Enter here. Equal to how much? 30.468 kilonewton per meter. Now, see, remember, this is the triangle which comes to rights of x. Important. Over. Now, go for BM calculation. Okay. I'll re remove this one now. Make a note. Last for BM calculation. BM calculations sagging positive. Okay, now start from here. BM at A equal to 0. Then BM at C. Look that side. Plus 117.333 multiplied by 1.5. I already calculated because to save the time. Plus 176. In case any values are wrong, Calculation mistake, correct it. Okay, now, bending at C over. Then, bending moment at D. First you find at all standard points. At D, look this side. Plus 117.333 multiplied by 3.5 minus 60 into 2. These all will not be explained because how many pre-requirement classes I have taken for moment all. It will come plus 290.666 kilonewton meter. That also over. Okay, now. After D, don't come to X now. First standard points. A, C, D, E. Come here. B, M at E. Look this side. Plus 98.667. Multiplied by 4.5. Minus. 20 kN per meter for 3 meter into 1.5 plus 3 by 2. That will come at the point E. 264 plus 264. Point not not 1 comes. It's okay. I know it is 264. If I use 98.66667, it will come 264. Over. Done. Next, BM at F. Look this side. Plus 98.667 into 3 minus 20 into 3 is the total load into 3 by 2 equal to plus 206 kilonewton meter. Then BM at B equal to 0 over. Now not over also you need BM at X. That is where shear force equal to 0. You can write, this is going to be the maximum BM. Look this side. Why? Because triangle this side. See, put the finger here. Okay, start. 98.667 equal to plus 98.667 multiplied by 3 plus 1.5 is 4.5 plus another x value. Enter the x value here. x value you got 2.539 meter. So I have to require calculator now. I can't add up those things. So if you want BM here, it is 98.667 into 2.539 plus another 4.5. 2.539 
539 plus 4.5. It will come 7.039. You can write, those who want can write how it came. Minus 20 into 3 is the total UDL. Total load. Multiplied by 2.539 plus another 1.5. 2.539 plus 1.5 is 4.039. 4.039 plus half of 3. Half of 3. Next. Lastly, minus moment of only this much load. Half into x is how much? 2.539 into 30.468 is the total load multiplied by moment of only this much load. For this much load, CG will be here. From here to here will be 1 by 3 of 2.539. See, in one of the class earlier, I told you when you take moment about the edge or outside or somewhere in between, crystal clear I explained everything. People who don't, don't study all those things, if they have a difficulty, you have to blame yourself only. My class, remember, this way only will continue. It is meant for only people who are serious and dedicated. It is not for time pass or just come and go. Not that way. This will come. 329 plus 329.442. This calculation I am making only to save the time. Okay. Okay. Now, last. Thing. Now, go back and draw BMD. Before that, statement you have to write. You should write. BM variation. Linear from A to C. Linear from C to D. Also linear from E to F. Parabola second degree from F to B. And parabola third degree from D to E. And here, peak value is there. That highest value is, one minute, where I kept the pen, is here. Mm. The highest value there is 329, see, relatively 329.442 is the value. Now, see, join by parabola. Here, shear post maximum, here shear post minimum. So, it will be parabola of this type. Here maximum slope, here lesser slope. Then, here to here, straight line. Same continuation slope. Why? This is, this is parabola of second degree. This is linear. Then, here to here also, this is straight linear. Here to here also linear. Okay. Then, here to here, parabola of third degree, which slope should be same on either side here. So, same way, it will go reach the peak value and come back. This is positive, this is the maximum value. So you can make a note, this is from here to here, parabola second degree, from here to here, it is parabola of third degree. You can make a note. This will give bending moment diagram, all values are in kilo newton meter, sagging positive, I forgot right here, shear post diagram, all values are kilo newton, left up, right down positive. Now, work out this question thoroughly, practice and get all the values and get ready for next class, class 87. I will continue the more number of problems with the combination of UVL. I may change the UVL to this type now, see, I may put it this way. Uh, that is, from here, the here to here, maximum. I will shift the UDL this side, I may put a point load in between UVL. All those combinations I will work out, maybe another 7 or 8 classes. I will go for only combination. Then I will go for the new part, the most important, where maximum confusion is there, beam with the couple. That will come after all these combinations are over. Okay. See you in next class, class number 87. And thank you.